Okay, it's time to do step six. We're going to create a sales order referencing a quotation. Uh, what's going on in the background here is the customer has come in, um, asked us for a, uh, an estimated price on the inquiry for the seven bikes that they're interested in. So we did an inquiry. Uh, a customer looked at it and said, okay, can we go ahead and get a formal quotation? Uh, we then went in and did a formal quote, gave them a price that we were willing to sell it to them for. Customers looked at that quote and says, okay, let's go ahead and turn this into a sales order. So the customer's ready to buy it from us. Uh, so we have a lot of information already in our database. So we're just going to go in and take that information from the quote, transfer it over to a sales order. So we're on page 25 of the PDF, step six. And it tells us that once again, we're going to go through logistics, down through sales and distribution, into the sales section. This is an order now. Again, we've done the inquiry and the quote. Now we're ready to do the order and we're going to create the quote. So double left click on that. You come into create a sales document. Uh, on your screen, the OR may not be there yet. So go ahead and make sure you type in OR in this section. And then once you click on the OR, we're going to create this with a reference. Okay. Once again, we have a lot of information already in our database. So if we click on the create the reference, it brings us into this next screen. All right. It says to make sure that we're looking at the quotation tab, which right now you can see that mine is there. And then we can click on this search function. Clicking on the search function brings up this sales order document area. And we've moved on to page 26 now. And it says on the following search, we want to make sure you select the sales document according to customer PO tab, which is on here right now. And then for the PO number, go ahead and put your three digits once again that you use. And from this, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. This brings up my quote. You should bring up your quote as well. Whenever that happens, we're going to double left click on the quote. And when we do that, it's going to bring us into the quotation where we can see the quote that you had before. Hopefully this is the exact same quotation number that you had from before. Okay. Once again, if you can't see it, make sure you're on the quotation tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to copy all of this information over. So it's just taking everything out of the database from that query, uh, which turned into a quote, which now we're turning into a sales order. All the information pops up for you. We're on the center of page 26. So you can see everything that uh, should be in here. It tells us on the bottom of page 26 that we need to enter our three digit number under the customer reference. We just need to find that here's customer reference number again. Write down your three digits, not the three digits that I just used. Cuff customer reference date. We're going to use today's date. Okay. And uh, required delivery date here has been copied in from the quote. Everything else uh, appears to be the same here. And so what we're going to do, we have everything set up. Let's just go ahead and save it. As it saves, notice that the order uh, is popping up over here on the bottom left hand corner. Um, my standard order number is four. Make sure that you write down your order number and that's all there is to step six. We've created a standard order based on the quote.